got another new model from the 2017 Hot Wheels G case. This time it's the flash drive. And this is the flash drive's first appearance as the new model. So this is not a recolor. Uh, this is the very first time it's been released. So we see it here in black and orange, kind of like Halloween colors, but uh, there's really no Halloween theme to this one. Um, it does have the Swirl 6 spokes there. Uh, those are the new wheels that were released earlier this year. Uh, we've seen them on the Sky Dome and a few others. Uh, here's a view from the front. So this kind of looks like a Formula race car, although it's uh, not exactly. Uh, the wheels do have fenders over them, so that's one, uh, one difference there. And it's got a closed cockpit right there in the middle. Uh, this car is very narrow right here, although it does have uh, some structure on the side, which I guess is mostly uh, just to provide some strength to the car and uh, possibly for aerodynamics. The front spoiler there uh, is adjustable. I say adjustable, but it, it will move up and down. Uh, so if you're going through some curves, and uh, we usually don't see curves that steep, but just in case, it has a little bit of give to it, you will notice that the front uh, is also angled up a little bit. So that helps with going through some of the trickier track setups that you might have. And I guess in real world, that would probably provide some downforce as well as the big spoiler in the back. That's quite a spoiler back there. So uh, this one, according to Hot Wheels, is uh, has a hybrid engine that uses some of the braking force uh, to, I guess it stores that to generate power. Uh, so they claim this one is capable of over a thousand horsepower and uh, if, you've, if you've paid attention to some of the supercars that are out there right now they do have some hybrid supercars that have uh, both a, a traditional combustion engine uh, combined with uh, electric engine that uh, can provide a lot of power. I know Porsche has one and um, I, you know off the top of my head I really can't remember all the others. I think Ferrari has one and there's probably a couple of others um, but they're really some amazing machines now and um, this one I think takes some of its cues from that. Um, but Flash Drive when I first saw the name I was kind of expecting it uh, to have something to do with uh, computers and uh, like a computer flash drive but it appears that that's not the case one other thing you might notice is this one is very low to the ground uh, if you look right there it's practically sitting on the ground but there's uh, maybe a fraction of a millimeter uh, where it's not touching uh, maybe if I lower the camera here you might be able to get a little bit better view of that, but um, not a whole lot. So we'll raise it back up. But yeah, this one does sit really low to the ground. We'll take a look at it again from the back. It is raised up a little bit more in the back, just slightly kind of angled up. But in the middle, this one's sitting very low. So this one will be interesting to test out on the track. I don't currently have a track set up. I have some in storage. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we get a chance to try out some of these newer models on a track soon and see how well they perform. But that is the flash drive new model. Thanks for watching.